What's up guys, Techmas here, and if you saw that delay, I do apologize, but anyways, today I'm going to be showing you how to create a file share in your house. Now, the first thing you may be asking is, okay, what's a file share and why do I care? Well, the file share essentially allows you to basically create a shared folder, which contains documents or music or videos or whatever type of files you have, and share it across your network if you have more than one computer in your house. This is very convenient, for example, because if I want to access through my laptop, my computer downstairs, which is a desktop, have my media files, have my music, my movies, and all that, I basically can access that. So it's very easy to set up a file share in Windows XP and Windows 7. In this case, I'm actually on my server, which is essentially Windows XP. Think of it like that, as you will. If you know servers, then you know you shouldn't be watching this video, first of all, if you know servers. but. Anyway, so today I'm going to be showing you how to create a file share, which allows you to share these folders. So, all you have to do is essentially right-click, go to My Computer or Computer if you're under Windows 7, or Vista, I should say, I'm not a big fan of Vista, and you right-click, Properties, hit that button, and you want to hit the Sharing. Now, in my case, it's already shared, so I'm going to hit Apply, and it's not shared. Now, I'm going to share this as, I don't know, uh, my media, media drive. So basically, I want to also click permissions. Now, if you have everyone being able to read, write, and do everything like that, then that means they can access your computer and do anything like that. But if you already have users like, say, uh, I don't know, my sister Amanda, okay? So if I add the user, my sister Amanda, and I only want her to read this, I can control this. For example, everybody can just read it. What if I don't want everybody to read it? I can uncheck that and have everybody not read it. However, if you're an administrator, you just type in your administrative password and I will show you that when we're on the other computer to gain access to this. So now I'm going to hit apply. And now that this is shared, it's very important that I know either the computer name or the IP address. Now to gain the computer name, if it's working, you gotta go right click, start menu, right click, my computer, then properties. Then you click computer name, change, and that's your computer name. In my case, it's named Weeping Angels, which is my server name. So now I'm gonna go into my other desktop through the magic of remote desktop, and I will show you this, and Mac. Not really magic of Mac. But anyways, now I'm at my other computer. Now it's very important to note that you need to access this computer. It'll, it should already see it, but if it doesn't, you need to type in an IP address, in which case my computer has some issues seeing this. Now to gain access to an IP address, you have to go back to your other computer and go in command prompt and type in IP config. And I'll list all the steps out in the, in the description. So all you have to do is click the IP address and that's 192.168.1.103. If you're on a Linksys wireless, it's going to start off with 192.168.1 and whatever name it goes after that, or number, I should say. So now I got that IP address. So now we're going to go back to our other desktop, walk around or remote desktop in if you have the knowledge to do that. And you need to enter, if your computer doesn't show up on the network, you need to enter your IP address, and then you need to enter in, this is very important, you need a backslash. This is a forward slash. This is when you type in, you know, your website, forward slash, forward slash. You don't want that. You want a backslash, which is this. So now I'm going to type in my IP address, and as you can see, it's already there if you already have it. So 192.168.1.103. Now, I've got my media drive here. And as you can see, it gives me access to all of my files and stuff like that. So, basically with this, I can also make it so that it'll remember to access this. But keep in mind, when you first access this, you're going to see username and password screen pop up that you have to enter in your stuff. So make sure you enter in your same username and password you would on the other computer which you have so please make sure you enter in that otherwise you won't be able to access anything 
or be able to write to any folders. So for example, if I need to, if I want to keep this on my, my desktop or if I want to keep this in my documents and have it remember, because it won't. Once you exit out of it, it won't be there. All you have to do is right click on the folder or file share you want to click. And in my case, I'm going to do media drive, right click on it. And you want to click map network drive. And that what that'll do is it'll allow you to basically save it and you can reconnect at login. So basically, I'm going to choose a drive name, in which case I already have one for that. So we're going to call it Y. And then I'm going to hit finish. Okay? And now it's already mapped. So when I click my computer, I already see this is mapped. So I never have to reconnect again. Once I log in there, I'm always connected. And a file share is very, very nice to have because, as you can see, my Techmas logo, I like that logo. It doesn't look as nice when it's on remote desktop, but you get the gist. Anyways, I digress, guys. But like I said, the nice thing about having a file share is that you can basically get all your media from one computer, and if you have a laptop, you can access it. Now, I'm going to be making another video about accessing your media, specifically only media stuff, on the go using certain programs. You know, you can have it for your iPad phone and as you can see I have my iPhone here and my smash display which will be fixed and you can actually access everything using a program called orb and we will talk about that in the next video so anyways guys thank you for watching my videos this is Techmas here your source for tech and we will definitely be doing more videos on this stuff and I'm looking for some people to help me out with these videos and if you are interested in creating I don't know an introduction regarding this channel, definitely shoot me an email at cluedierhacker at gmail.com and basically it's my username at gmail.com or you can always follow me on Google Plus, Joshua Cloutier, C-L-O-U-T-I-E-R. And thank you guys for watching this video. I definitely appreciate your subscriptions and I will be doing a giveaway soon. So look forward to that very soon. And I will be doing more videos regarding tech and definitely, like I said, comment, rate, and subscribe, and definitely like this video. We can't do it without you guys, and if you guys stop watching my videos, you know, I gotta quit this thing. I've got other things to do. I actually work at my school, uh, actually my former school, I should say, with technology, and I could be making money that way. So if you like these videos, like I said, definitely comment, rate, and subscribe, and like this video. I'll be doing more in the future. So thank you guys for watching, and have a great day.